Hello and welcome to Cliff Reviews Art House. This time I'm reviewing the film Fremont, directed by Babak Jalali. I really enjoyed this film. It's all very understated and really gentle, and it has a real subtle beauty. It's about a young woman, Donya, who's an immigrant to the US from Afghanistan. She'd worked as a translator for, for the US military and she'd been evacuated from Kabul under one of the visa programs. She has a relatively simple life, a place to live, a job. We learn that she can't sleep and that she's probably suffering some kind of trauma beneath the surface. This film is so effectively made. It's black and white, quite close camera work. It's made in academy ratio and this keeps the film tight, kind of hemmed in and it makes sense in that this is an environment where feelings aren't really expressed. To some extent I think all of the characters in this film are survivors. There's issues contained beneath the surface. The acting in this film is not naturalistic at all. It's almost deliberately feels fake at times, like deadpan, especially Donya's boss in the fortune cookie factory and the psychologist felt very wooden at times. I don't know how you make this work in a film, but it really does work here. I really liked it. It was almost amusing, but awkward at the same time. Hardly anyone smiles in this film. As I say, I felt that everyone's surviving. Everyone has their own trauma, particularly the psychologist and her work colleague, Joanna. Everyone in this film is just getting by and living on the surface. She's so shut down that she's almost lifeless. But we do see during the process of the film a gradual, very gradual defrosting. So gentle, so slow. The film gets the pace exactly right. I like the scenes with the psychologist where he ends up showing his own vulnerability and they talk a lot about the book White Fang using the story of the wolf to open things up between them. I also liked when her friend sings. It's so kind of imperfect, but again, this is just an experience that for Donya opens a tiny crack of emotion. I think that this is the slow way that healing from trauma occurs and it's beautifully portrayed here. What's really impressive is that the film never gets sentimental. It doesn't go for the easy ending, which would have been really enjoyable. Rather, it ends in a much more subtle way, and I think this was probably even more rewarding. The relationship with the psychologist and the car mechanic are both really nice, and they're tiny steps, but really significant progress towards her healing. The last scene with the mechanic is very minimal, but the way she just nods ever so slightly, there's enough trust just for a beginning to this healing process. To say yes to a cup of coffee, this was such a lovely moment. This made for a very movie and ending. I highly recommend this film. Thanks for watching. See you next time.